Well, the weather might turn a little bit, but for the most part, it looks like it's going to rain. Is this not the jankiest crap you've ever seen? But guess what? Guess what? It works, except the last time I did fall, so I had to add those steps to it. It's a lot better than scratching your kayak up on a lot of rocks. So, especially after what the dang Hurricane Sally did to the freaking seawall and the docks. But we are going to take the kayak out and go after some trout. Um, we're going to try to go out into some creeks. Uh, it's that time of year. It is mid-December. I think we're 14 days away from Christmas. And uh, which, woohoo! But anyway, uh, 14 days away from Christmas. And uh, those trout and should be pushing up into these creek channels and uh, past the mouth around the creek bends. And hopefully we can get them. Uh, I got a chatterbait with a... Uh, saltwater assassin paddle tail on there and then i have a rapala stick minnow so i'm gonna get the big girl launched here and uh get out there oh it works there ain't nothing wrong with that that's awesome you just gotta see last time i slipped on the algae and fell in the water it wasn't very fun so I added these on there. And watch this. Ah. All right, time to go. Look how pretty it is outside. I hope the fish are turned up. Got my rudder. All right, we are getting somewhere today. Oh man, you know. Oh no, I didn't forget it, okay. For a second there, I thought I forgot my flag. My safety flag. I'm gonna go do some fishing. It's hard to complain when it's 70 degrees outside and it's mid-December. We got a strong south wind blowing in, so, so it's bringing in this warm weather. But we are going to try to do some fishing. All right, I'm gonna start off by throwing this chatterbait. This is just a chatterbait original with the saltwater assassin paddle tail. It's a three and a half inch paddle tail. This right here, if you've never thrown this before, you're missing out. So, I'm throwing it on a Shimano Corrado and a G Loomis E6X. And the vibration of this bait is awesome. So, let's get out there and just drift with the wind. I just missed one. Oh man, he's swimming towards me. It's hard when they're swimming towards you like that. Ooh. Oh, dude. Come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Dude, that was just an that was awesome. That was epic. Mm, come here. That was epic. Oh, crap. Come here. Oh. I was going to let him go anyway, but man, did I want to see that fish. Dude, I was not prepared for that. He came up, hit it right at the boat, and then turned around, missed it. And he came up and hit it again. I hooked him. I, I just I just had a feeling that was gonna happen. Hey, that was fun though. That was fun, but does that just make you really, really, really upset? Because it does me. It makes me really upset. Oh. Keep on getting short hits or right under the boat I'm getting hit so
All right, I'm gonna switch over to this Rapala jerk bait here in the black and purple. And it's pretty easy to retrieve. So suspending jerk bait, all you gotta do is just change up your retrieve if you're not getting a bit on one retrieve. So I like to do a twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and just change it up, make it random. You can even swim it back to you if you want. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's a good trout. Good trout, good trout, good trout, good trout. Mm. Oh yeah, I got redemption just now. Yeah, buddy. What a beautiful trout, look at that. Oh man, that's awesome. Big old yellow mouth. That's cool. Oh yeah. Beautiful trout. Beautiful trout. Let this fish go here. Oh man. Come on. <laughs> there you go. It just took a little time. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. See, I was in I was in this little pocket here around this bend at first and I don't, i'm sure i got it on camera i missed um a decent sized fish and it man it was aggressive it just kept on coming back and uh, i ended up not hooking it and then i threw the paddle toe and caught that small little bitty trout right off that point uh so i went further up the creek missed a little bitty trout come back and through here before i rolled through here and hooked him just like that so that's awesome There's, there, oh, there's a fish. Look at that. Dad gum, dude. This thing's fighting hard. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Ow, stop. Calm yourself, calm yourself, calm yourself, calm yourself. Little lady fish. I'm gonna call him back. <laughs> That's funny. Is that a dead? Something ate that thing. What is that? Dead shad? Oh, dang. Oh, man. <laughs> dang, dude. Dang. What is that? Dang, dude. That, I was literally looking at like a dead. Man, that's a heavy fish. Mmm. Mmm. What is it? A Man, that's a trout. That's a good trout too. That is a good, good trout. Look at that stuff. <laughs> come here, come here, dude. Come here, come here. Oh, he's not hooked good. He's not hooked good at all. Oh, come here, come here. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that freaking trout, man. Check out that freaking trout. Oh my gosh, man. What a fat trout. See how much it will. See, that's a, it's a slot trout. 19, pretty much 19 inches, 19 and a half inches. But does it have a belly on it? Man, what an awesome fish. Just want to get a picture and let her go. swim away swim, swim away on their own they want to there she goes oh that's awesome man that's awesome i was literally looking at this like dead uh dead bait fish that looked like something had ate out of its uh, throat and then suddenly i just hooked into this thing that just took dry out of the holy crap man what a good trout that's awesome that is on the rapala rip stop man Dude, that is just, that's just awesome. So I'm going to get out of this bush that I'm in and uh, get back to fishing. This day has turned around. This day has turned around. That is awesome, awesome fish. That one took me by surprise too. 
So I was, but I, I, I think I patterned them. I think I found the pattern. They're hanging around around the bins. So I'm getting all my bites around the deep pockets in the bins. Now I'm way up here. Oh, hard hit. There we go. Oh, come on. Another. Oh, dang. That's dang. Dang. Oh, that's another good freaking trout, dude. Oh, man. That is another big trout. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's gone. Dude, that is a. I, I knew that was going to happen. Look, I'm not keeping fish. But that is a good trout. And guess what? I found the pattern. I definitely found the pattern. That's what's happening. They're holding in these pockets around these bins. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's another good one. Hey, is that a ladyfish? Yeah, it's a foul hook ladyfish. Look at that. Come on. This St. Croix Mojo Yak rod just casts his bait so nicely. And this is some diamond eight strand braid, 15 pound, and then the new Stratic HG 2500. This is right here. One of my favorite setups to fish with. I picked it up from J&M Tackle. And Andy Summers over there hooked me up. If you fish a lot, these are well, well worth the money. Now if you don't, you know, if you're not an avid fisherman, you know, you're just a weekend angler and stuff and you're on a budget, Shimano does make some. I like the Sahara, that's really affordable. Uh, and still a lot of quality packed in that one reel. Um, but if you if you fish a lot and you do a lot of inshore fishing and you like nice stuff, smooth stuff, and stuff that will last, these, these Stratix and St. Croix rods, top notch. And as you, if you watch my videos a lot on my channel, you'll see I'm an avid user of the Stratix. I love them. There we go. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Around the bend. My pattern's holding true so far. There you go, ladyfish. Get off. There we go. Ah. Oh, that's a good one. Dang, dude. Is that a... Oh, man. Look at that, dude. What a freaking... Spicy fish. Oh, get, get in, get in, get in. There we go. What a beautiful fish. I'm gonna get him back in the water. He freaking hit that sucker hard. There you go. <laughs> hey. Oh, shoot. Dude, what is that? What was that? What was that? That tarpon. Oh my gosh. Come back. Come back. Dude. Pretty sure that was a tarpon. Pretty sure that was a tarpon. Pretty sure. There we go. What is it? Speckled trout. Way up here. Way up here. <laughs> Got him. Look at that. Speckled trout way up in the woods. Time to release him. There you go. 
all right i'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching this video that was a fun fishing session it's always fun when you have a plan you go out and it execute it and it actually works for you so but thanks for watching it also if you haven't seen already i'm having a giveaway go check it out on my channel it's on the front page um, be sure to enter that giveaway it's a lot of cool stuff so i'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and we'll pick one lucky subscriber to uh to win all that stuff go check it out but if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button down below if you have i appreciate you and i want to thank the good lord for everything he does for us and we'll see you later